And today is August 4th, 2016, and this is the tail of the first circle that I ran, first circle. And this was in San Cugat. The actual date was July 10th, 2011. Doesn't seem like... Anyway, that's the date I have written down. July 10th, 2011. And, um, I forgot how we got into the conversation, but Robert asked me to uh, run the circle, or I said I was going to run the circle, or whatever it is. So I, this circle is set up, probably had, I'm going to guess, about 30 of uh, 30 players there. I walk into the circle, I uh, pause, get it nicely set up, and so forth. The first note I hit, boom, I break a string. First note, break a string. So. I'm in the I'm in the zone now, and I um, said, "Well, we're going to work without this string." I said this to myself. Actually, one of the players started offering me a, a string, a new string. I was like, "I'm not putting this together. I'm in the middle of the circle. I'm moving on." So I'm moving on. Now I, I picture this: I have a string hanging down off my guitar. So we did whatever the work we were doing, but an interest, a couple of interesting things happened. Um, the uh, the information that you receive from being in the center of the circle is is frightening. Where you can you're for some reason you're able to um, you see I found I saw better I could hear better I could I really believe I was um, um, like reading people better you know that kind of thing what kind of the feedback I was getting and it's frightening to to uh, to feel that. That was one experience I had. A second experience I had was that I, um, this may have been the beginning of uh, The Wiz. I have no other explanation for it, but I started going around the circle as, from the inside as fast as I could, passing the notes, getting people to, to pass those notes as quickly as possible. So that may have been the start of it. I'm not so sure it wasn't a natural outcome of it anyway, but that was my, in retrospect, that was my experience with that, of running around. Of course, as I'm running around the middle of the circle, here goes the string is flying apart, you know, flying out and maybe hitting people and so on. I remember people backing up as the strings are coming by. So that was the second experience I had at that circle. The third experience was, as I left the circle, I sat down and I was sitting near Robert and Robert um, made a, a comment, you know, I always thought there was one string too many. And that was his comment to me. The following day, um, I got a nice compliment. I think I was in the circle for probably 45 minutes, something like that. And um, a nice compliment was that it was a, I forgot exactly the word, but it was a, um, not a reasonable, it wasn't a, whatever, it was a positive comment about my um, uh, working in the circle there. So that's my uh, tale of the first circle I've worked in and have worked in many others since then. And, uh, it's, uh, it's really terrific. That's it. I wish I could remember the exact word. Um, but it's gone. I think it begins with an R.